hi guys welcome to my channel if you guys are new welcome and to my day one subscribers thank you so much for you guys loyal support i am so so grateful to you all and i'm so excited i cannot wait to reach 1000 subscribers at least i hope i reach 1000 subscribers but i love doing what i'm doing i have never been happier so thank you all so much anyways today is part one of my sephora haul i thought i would be done but then i saw more things that i wanted and there's so much to choose from you guys like where does it end i don't think it does so Thank you, Sephora, for another annual sale. I am a Rue holder, which means I get 20% off. If you are Rue, you get 20%. VIB, you get 50, no, yes, 15%. And if you are an insider, you get, I believe, 10%, which is still savings, right? So let's jump right in, you guys. I'm excited about everything that I got. And I can't wait to show you all. So starting off with first things first, let's start with something I'm really excited about. It's the new House Labs blush. It's the talk free blush. And I picked up the shade French Rosetta. Now, some of the shades are repeat shades. And personally, I don't even really... I use it, but they're so big, I can't finish it. She did make these a lot smaller, so I'm glad about that. But I didn't pick up any more shades that I already had. I just picked up the shade uh, French Rosetta. And if you guys watch my shorts, I did do a short on Fire Moon. I already had the shade, but such a beautiful nude shade, you guys. But this one looks so pretty. I just had to get it especially with the sale going on and this is what it looks like that is a beauty so i'm really excited about this one and you guys you gotta watch my shorts and if you stick around a little bit longer i will be doing more and more long videos i promise you more long videos to come okay so <laughs> moving on to my next oh my god this lipstick this lipstick I am loving. I haven't worn it yet, but I swatched it. It's the new um, Westman Atelier Lip Suede Matte Lipstick. This lipstick, this shade in particular, is called J. Rivy. It's so pretty, you guys. First of all, let's look at the packaging. Beautiful packaging. Very heavy. It's $50, but it feels like a $50 lipstick. It's really heavy and durable. It's magnetic and it just looks and feels very beautiful and just expensive. But look at this shade. It's such a beautiful shade. I swatched it on my lips and I love it. I haven't worn it yet, but I will definitely be wearing this shade a lot and you guys will be seeing it very soon okay so moving on more lips more lips more lips i finally got my hands on the new house labs oops not house labs huda beauty um fox filler now this is not the shade that i wanted i wanted bombshell it was all sold out until just recently and i was lucky enough to get my hands on it that's coming in part two what is that on my hands okay so that's coming in part two you guys and this one i'm going to be honest i did try it on i'm not crazy about it but when i tried it on to be fair i didn't have any foundation i didn't try it on with the liner but it was very close to my natural lip tone so just because of that I mean, it just didn't really wasn't very flattering on me but again i didn't try it on any foundation or anything like that so maybe with some foundation it will look a lot better i don't know we'll see but i am looking forward to the bombshell that one looks really pretty oh yeah more lips more lips more lips this shade i am particularly excited about because i did see another influencer use it her name is alicia 
but yeah she had this on her lips and it was so pretty i had to get it it is called um the hourglass unlock soft matte lipstick in the shade sparrow oh wow this shade is a beauty and great packaging this is the latest i believe um lipsticks out by hourglass but look at this beautiful shade you guys it's so pretty cannot wait to wear it it just looks like a shade that will go with everything and i'm really excited to wear this i feel like i'm going to get a lot of wear out of this lipstick so yeah and i did get a liner as well this liner is also by hourglass and it's in the shade candid and it's just a nice dark neutral liner not too neutral because again my lip my natural lip shade is you know on the darker side so if i get any liners that are too light they really don't show up on me so i always have to go just a little bit darker so this liner feels really creamy and i've never owned a house uh, why do i have the word house lab stuck in my lips but i never owned um an hourglass lip liner before so i am excited about that but you know what finally let me get this house labs lip gloss out the way because my mouth has been forming and excited to say the word house labs i do love me some house labs but this lip gloss is another beautiful shade and then it's called fig now i already own three of these it's the phd hybrid lip glaze gloss i love these lip glosses i don't know i don't hear a lot about them but I love them. I think they're nice and juicy. They make your lips look really pretty and full. And this shade is very beautiful. It's called Fig. And again, look at how pretty that shade is. So I feel like, again, this is a lip gloss that I will be reaching for a lot. Okay, moving on. I think that's it for the lips. No, actually, you know what? While we're doing lips let's keep going with the lips shall we i these are not brand new but they're fairly new but i've never had the urge to get them until now so i finally got the anastasia beverly hills lip velvet lip glosses and i picked up the shade parchment and this looks really pretty i did hear they were very drying on the lips so I'm definitely going to be prepping my lips with some like, you know, a lip balm or a lip mask or something like that while I'm doing my makeup. I'll just prep my lips with a lip mask. That way, when I do apply this, my lips will be soft. But do not try and apply this while your lips are dry because they're pretty drying. And they, when I did try them on, they did rather feel kind of dry. So you know we'll see but the next shade that i have is peach amber this is another beautiful shade looks like this they look very similar but side by side you can tell one is just a little bit richer like this one in color but they look so good on my skin tone and i can't wait to try them okay so moving on to I'm excited. I'm really excited about this because this looks really beautiful. I love the new Rare Beauty blushes. They are so beautiful, you guys. I have almost every shade except for Truth and Love was the only shade that I didn't have and I just got it. And it's a beautiful like terracotta color. Look at how gorgeous this looks it is so beautiful now do these shades emphasize texture yes you can use them as a highlighter though if you do have a lot of texture i mean i have texture but who doesn't right it doesn't bother me like that i just don't go too heavy on it and honestly they're so beautiful so far i have been loving them i haven't tried layering them yet i did hear you layer them with the cream uh the liquid blushes they look really really pretty so i'm going to try layering them and see how that looks as well 
Okay, moving on. Oh my God, another. I'm excited about everything, but this eyeshadow palette in particular, it is the Dior Backstage Eye Palette in the shade Too Smoky. You guys, when I saw this online, I was like so reluctant to get it. I'm like, does it, you know, it's pretty, but do I need it? I'm so happy that I purchased it because in person, this palette is so stunning. It has some beautiful mauve pinks to it. Look at that, you guys. It has mauve. It has a deep plum. It has light sands. It has a beautiful taupe. It has black for some liner. Even has a beautiful smoky like silver, rosy shades. And you have all your shimmers, your satins, your mattes. This palette is so beautiful. I cannot wait to create some looks, especially for you guys. So stay tuned because I will definitely be showing you guys some looks with this beautiful palette. Okay, so this is like probably, I think this might be my favorite. I'm really excited about that one. Next up, another one I can't wait to try out. It's the new Anastasia Beauty Bomb Serum Boosted Skin Tint. This is really, really beautiful. I swatched it and let me tell you something. It just looks flawless. Okay, the, sh the, the match is perfect but it looked like it was my skin. Now, I haven't worn it or anything like that, but just first impression, when I swatched it on my skin and blended like a little bit of it, it looked beautiful. It reminds me of deodorant though. The packaging is quite interesting, but this is what it looks like. I did get the shade um, number 11 and it's the perfect match. So it looks like this. And yeah, this is like really something that I, I look forward to trying out. I love foundations, but especially the, you know, I like light coverage. I'm not really a, a heavy coverage type of girl. I like the, you know, the light coverage, something where it looks like you're, there's no makeup, makeup days, you know? So yeah, I can't wait to try this one out as well. Speaking of light coverage. I also picked up the, let's see, the Sealy. This is brand new. It just came out. It's um the Tinted Serum. This has an SPF of 50, but you guys, this is a serum foundation. And let me tell you something. I am really excited about this because it has skin benefits to it. And this is something that you can reach for all the time for those makeup, no makeup days. And it's beneficial to your skin and anything that is beneficial for your skin, you've got to try it. But the shade is right on. I did pick up the shade tan, which is perfect. I was a little bit scared at first because I never know if I'm going to be medium or tan in certain, you know, brands. And I was going back and forth to medium or tan. The tan is perfect. Moving on to some more skin. I did get, this is like an old G product, but to be fair, she has some new shades. It's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch. Here it is, I have the primer. The Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Now, I've always wanted to try this, but I've never found my perfect match until now. She has new shades and I did get the shade 315. It's a medium neutral and it looks like it's going to be the perfect match. I always wanted to get this. It looks really beautiful. It's smooth. It looks beautiful on the skin and it looks like this. I'm so excited because finally it looks like it's going to be my right shade. And I also got the uh, Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer to go with it. So can't wait to try that out. And last but not least, we're sticking with Fenty. You guys, I got the new Fenty Beauty Demi Glow Light Diffusion Highlighters. I picked up three shades 
and I ordered one more that's going to be in the second haul. But so far, I picked up Rich Honey. I picked up, let me show you what they look like, by the way. So this is Rich Honey, and it looks like this. Packaging is really pretty. And by the way, these are limited edition. So if you want to get them, you better make sure you get them because I don't know if they'll be back. You never know with these brands. Sometimes they be, you know, they come back, sometimes they don't. But just so you know, they are limited edition. But this is Rich Honey. I did swatch it. It's very smooth. Look at that. Oh wow, that is so pretty. It's so smooth just melts on my skin so can't wait to try that one and then the next shade that i purchased was um loose change if you guys look at the charts they tell you which one is good for your skin tone like if it, in other words if you're in a certain category in the foundations they will recommend the shades for you so i'm in the threes so whoever is in like the shades of the threes then these are the ones that they recommend for you and i'm in 315 so these were the shades that were recommended for me and this one is loose change i dug my finger in there which i do not like but this is loose change a little bit lighter but oh, so beautiful they're so smooth they're like butter and then the next one is called yum rum and the last one that's going to be coming in my second haul is the pink one I forget the name of it but it's like a pinky shade that was supposed to be recommended for the twos but i think i can get away with it because it looks oh my god You guys i'm not even like joking this just happened i will be calling them and telling them because this is no bueno it just broke but this oh, i'm so sad but this is the shade let's see this is the shade yum rum and it looks like this which is probably the lightest one that's so beautiful but oh my gosh it's all over my clothes so i need to hurry up with this film and go clean up myself i had the dior forever um intense highlighter powder you can't go wrong with dior with the highlighters i have all the brand new liquid ones which i'm going to be doing some swatches in a short coming up soon by the way I am back with these long videos. Just stick around a little bit longer because by June, I'm going to be having some new equipment and hopefully better quality. Right now, I'm just filming on my phone, but the last camera that I had, no one liked it. Everyone's complaining. They couldn't see my makeup. It was blurry. It was not good quality. So my birthday is coming up in June and I asked my husband for a new camera. So if you guys like the long videos, they are coming, okay? They are coming back, you guys. But anyways, this is the powder uh, highlighter in the shade Pink Glow. This is the packaging. It's so soft and leather. It's quilted. Look at this shade. How beautiful is this? Do I have any more fingers left? I have my pinky. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you guys, you cannot go wrong with Dior highlighter. But that is it, you guys. That is part one of my Sephora haul. I will definitely be coming back when my second box arrives, which I cannot wait. And hopefully, you guys will tune in and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new and you haven't subscribed yet. And also hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my videos. Thank you so much, you guys. And I will see you soon. Bye.